Hello, this is uh, Harold's Proc Rock Show part uh, 90, ranking the Simple Minds studio albums. The Simple Minds, one of my favorite bands for a long, long time. Uh, starting off with a uh, best of album, 81-92, nice one, with all the uh, famous hit singles from Simple Minds. Uh, they did also a live album, Simple Minds Live. In the City of Light, it's a very good album at the peak of their career at the end of the 80s. A double live album, Simple Minds Live in the City of Light, with a nice booklet. Uh, there's also a DVD from that same album, and the DVD is highly recommended. A nice live show at the end of the 80s, filmed in Verona in the Amphitheater. Theater. Okay, the ranking. Um, the lowest one is real to real cacophony. It's not essential. Then we go to Empires and Dance. It's also not essential from the beginning of their career at 1980. Then we have the first one from 1979, Life in a Day. On this one we have um, Pleasantly Disturbed. That's a, a very good song. The rest of the songs is not essential. Then we go to Sounds and Fascination. That's uh, an Im important step forward. It's uh, an interesting album and I can recommend this old Simple Minds album. Sounds and Fascination includes Sister Feelings Call. An early album from Simple Minds, recommended. Then we go to uh, Nebula, Simple Minds, not essential. Cry, Cry is a reasonable album. You can buy the, this one, Cry. Um, good news from the next world. It's also a reasonable album. Good news from the ne next world. Simple Minds. Real to uh, re real life. Real life. Uh, that's also a reasonable album. Real life. Uh, okay. Then things are start starting and getting much better. Uh, Walk Between Worlds. That's the latest album. Walk Between Worlds. I can recommend this album. Uh, Nice artwork. Okay, Walk Between Worlds with Jim Curl, Charles Burchill, and on this one also Mel Gaynor on drums. Um, this is really good, big music, big music. I really like it. It's their, uh, not the latest album, but the album before that one. Uh, big music, very good. Highly recommended, very good. That's my number five. Then we go to my number four. Once Upon a Time, Once Upon a Time, with uh, the hit single Alive and Kicking. Also in this one, Sanctify Yourself and Ghost Dancing. This is real classic. And this is my number four. Uh, it's uh, released in 1986. And it's a real classic. Then we go to my number three, Street Fighting Years, with Belfast Child, the traditional. Belfast Child is also a big hit single, number one all over the world. And it's one of my favorite Simple Minds songs. Also on this one, Mandela Day and Biko, a song from Peter Gabriel, which they do very well. A real classic, Street Fighting Years. All songs are good. Then my number two, New Gold Dream. 81, 82, 83, 84. It's a real classic. And on this one we have um, Big Sleep. That song is, is on my funeral. Big Sleep, sleep Big Sleep. Also on this one, um, New Gold Dream, the title track, which is very good. Uh, someone somewhere in summertime and this hit single promised you a miracle this album is very very good then my number one in simple minds album that's sparkling rain i really like it all songs are good 
and the hit single is Waterfront. On this one also Book of Brilliant Things, East at Easter, um, The Kick Inside of Me and Shake Off the Ghosts. It's a real classic, it's very bombastic, it's, in my opinion, it's prog rock and um, it's great, it's fantastic. Oh, this is my number one Simple Minds album, Sparkle in the Rain, from 1983. Okay, this was my show about the Simple Minds, one of my favorite bands. I hope you like the show. See you next time and uh, subscribe to my channel. Okay, thank you. Bye. <laughs>